Joe Pesci is one actor who seems to have shocked audiences with his performance. Forgetting the fact that he hasn't acted properly in years, he's managed to craft a character unlike anything we've seen before. Given what I knew of the project before the film came out, I knew Pesci was going to surprise people, because unlike his previous Scorsese movies, hardly any curse words are attributed to his character, in spite of him being arguably the most powerful mobster in Scorsese's entire filmography. There's no heavy outburst or swearing with Pesci in this film, as Buffalino is a calm character, respectful and charming to those who don't know any better, and sinisterly terrifying to those who do. Through De Niro's voiceover, Buffalino is hyped up throughout the film, but Pesci does him complete justice. You always get a sense that he's in control, that he holds the power, which, just to add, makes Frank Shear an appreciation line all the more awesome because it's one of the few times he doesn't hold complete power. Pesci's performance is powerfully restrained, his eyes often hidden by these almost comically large glasses, which give his face a foggy and almost mystical look. This supremacy and authority in both his character and his performance, with little things like the way he taps on Tony Pro's hands to signal him to stop talking, or how a nonchalant look at Frank Sheeran signals Joe Gallo's death sentence. Much like how Pesci's most famous scene, the funny house segment of Goodfellas, in this film he is able to change demeanours like the flicking of a switch. In one scene, you have him pouring Sheeran cornflakes like an old friend, like a father figure even, referring to him as a kid despite the man being in his 60s, and only minutes later he orders his friend to kill Hoffer, without directly saying it, which just makes it all the more menacing, and the sternness in his voice when he says, don't call him, can make you shit your pants. All of a sudden, the father-son relationship has been flipped into an employer-employee relationship. You get an aura from Pesci in The Irishman, a feeling and measure of power that doesn't need to be flaunted to be proven. As wild as Pacino is, is how subdued Pesci is, and yet he's more terrifying than Tommy DeVito even. This guy isn't part of the Mafia, he isn't working for the Mafia, you feel like he is the Mafia, he's the representation of the life itself, to such an extent you feel like this guy could kill an entire family and sleep like a baby the very same night. In fact there's a scene in the movie where he comes home to his wife late at night where he probably did just that. And let's not forget, Pesci goes through a transformation of his own too. Seeing this powerful figure become a crumpled, disabled, wheelchair-bound elderly man in the space of a few scenes is almost pitiful and highlights the fact that old age will get us all, no matter how powerful we are, and that's if we're lucky to make it to old age. 